So now we've got that ID set up. What we need to do is hop into our javascript.php. So go over to the config folder, make sure you're in the admin, and uh, open up js.php. And uh, here, just right around where the button debug is. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some space here. And we're going to look for the btn-delete button or class. So dot btn delete. And we're going to do this one a little differently. And uh, I'll explain that maybe a little bit later why. But it's pretty much the same as what we did on line 26. Uh, but it has a little bit different functionality. But uh, again, essentially the same thing. So dot on then in the parentheses here, we're going to do click comma, then function. So see, it's pretty much the same thing, just written a little differently. So we we'll do function, our parentheses, and our curly brackets. Save that. So, you know, just like the debug button, this is going to be triggered whenever a button or really any any element on a page that has the btn-delete class is clicked. So in this case, it's going to be our delete buttons. So what we first need to do is we need to retrieve that ID property. So we're going to create a variable and then save that ID. So var, and uh, we'll call this, let's say, selected equals. And now we're going to use And for our selector, in this situation, we're going to use this. And that's going to refer to the element that has been clicked on. So basically, so I'll show you how that's done. Just like we would do any other jQuery selector here, we do the dollar sign and then the parentheses. But instead of quotations, we're just going to write this. So that stands for whatever has had the action applied to it in this case. So that particular button that has been clicked. So we're going to say this dot and then attribute or ATTR for short. And we're going to tell it that we want to grab the ID attribute or property, however you want to call that. And then we close that. So now we have this variable that is holding that particular ID, which would be DEL underscore and then the ID. So let's go ahead and test that. We'll, we'll run and uh, we'll create an alert that spits out the selected variable. save that. Let's go over to our page and go ahead and refresh. Click on the delete button. There you go. DEL underscore two. DEL underscore one. And DEL underscore three. So there you go. We've set up this button now to grab that ID. And then next we'll do something with that ID.